As far back as I can remember, I've always been fascinated by the idea of discovery. Around seventh or eighth grade, I had a biology teacher who introduced me to the idea of science, how you can test how something works by designing an experiment, and I, I was just hooked. My name is Evangelos Kiskinis. My lab is a stem cell lab that is interested in understanding neurological diseases like ALS. ALS is a terrible neurodegenerative disease. The average individual that's diagnosed with ALS lives for about two and a half years, and there's a dire need for novel therapeutic approaches. Cells have defined structures separated by membranes. One example of that is the nuclear envelope, which separates the nucleus from the rest of the cell. The exchange of molecules between the nucleus and the cytoplasm has been highlighted as a mechanism that could be driving your degeneration. We discovered that these molecules actually accumulate within this fascinating structures. They're like tunnels of nuclear envelope deep within the nuclear structures. We wanted to visualize these structures in live cells. And the Allen cell collection had already generated such tools that allow us to visualize cellular structures. It's like the nucleus changes its shape and moves around as the cell moves. The existence of this invaluable resource really has saved us time, effort, and important resources. So we're really interested in understanding how potentially targeting this pathway in human neurons could have therapeutic relevance for patients' lives. We're very mindful of the urgency that they feel, and I remain optimistic that over the next decade, we'll see treatments that will be meaningful, treatments that will slow down, or in some cases, even reverse disease progression.